Leah Berkey on the Chris Top program. I get Dollar Shave Club blades delivered, so I always have a shave with a fresh blade. Does that make me a genius? Yes. Yes, it does. I use the 4X, a.k.a. the Lover's Blade. Just go to the ChrisTopProgram.com and click on the Dollar Shave Club link, and you will never spend a fortune on shaving again. You might look at it as a great close shave experience, but I look at it as one step closer to being awesome. And here Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. You can be the tech in the Chris Top program. I am the one and only Chris Top. <laughs> you can be the tech in the Chris Top program. Broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment. The busy R and the did the did the once and that a black rat back in 1970. We didn't know about the world wide web it was a whole different game been played back when I was a kid. Wanna get down in a cool way? Yourself on a beautiful day. Big bell bottoms and groove along here. Just walking in style with a party full and a sweet day. You can listen to the music on the Chris Top Program. You can hear the music on the Chris Top Program. You can hear the music on the Chris Top Is the Chris Top program? And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from Elm Hill Pike in Nashville, Tennessee today. Uh, so, Leah, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing good. I think it's a good strategic move to leave the phone on because Ashley was saying like <laughs> maybe you should mute that, but it makes me sound popular. That, I, yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. So they're all tweets. I'm gonna Look, see, it's still going. I see it. Yeah, it's still going. And it could be you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So are you having fun today? I am, yes. This is a blast. I'm so glad that I came. Now, we met on, was it Twitter? Yes. So we're, are we Twitter buddies for life now? Oh. Okay. That's important. Of course. Anybody so we're good. Me on Twitter. It's my Twitter. So we're good. Okay. All right, now I've got another important question to ask okay. you, too. All right, so, so when you hit that pinnacle in your career, when you're playing LP Field, when you <laughs> are playing the Grand Ole Opry, the Ryman... Yes. I gotta have backstage passes. Oh, of course. So that's a done deal. Oh yes. This is recorded. I know. Okay. So I do this to everybody. So somebody's got to make it eventually, right? <laughs> if they don't, they can't be your Right. That's that's true. Now, now, where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from York, Pennsylvania. Okay. South Central PA, uh, about an hour from Baltimore. Okay. Yep. Okay. So how how did you end up here? Uh-huh. And then I was like, yeah, but Taylor Swift is on TV, and she's a country singer. My mom's like, okay, whatever. And so she was watching CMT, and she saw Taylor, and she was like, okay, I believe you. You're her little fangirl. Like, if you want to do that with your eight-year-old self. Uh-huh. And then um, I was listening to the radio, <coughs> and they said that she would be at Walmart. Mm-hmm. And I was like, mom, Taylor Swift is going to Walmart. When you're playing Walmart, you are big. Oh, yeah. And yeah. she's like, um, country singers don't come to Walmart. And I was like, um, yes, they do. Look it up, Mom. And she was like, okay. So she went, and we, we went, and we saw her and waited in line, and I got to meet her, and it was, like, the best day of my life. So you actually got to meet Taylor Swift. Yes. You touched yeah. her. Oh, yeah. I yeah? touched her. Yeah. Did you sniff her, really? Did. <laughs> did she call 911, or did, did you get away with it? No, she just, yeah. I think she thought it was cool. She yeah? Was like, oh did she sniff you back? Yes, we, probably. That's we weird. Good. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but then ever since then, it was just, like, one track mind, yeah. that's all I cared about. Yeah. Just singing, and I taught myself to play the guitar, and I taught myself to play the piano, and that's all I ever wanted to do. And so since I was 12, we had been coming back and forth from Pennsylvania to Tennessee like four or five times a year. Mm-hmm. And finally, my, it just got on everybody's nerves, and my mom <laughs> was like, okay, let's move. And my dad was like, yeah, my mom's like, let's do it. Right. And um, so this past July, we finally made the big leap. So when you accept your first big award, are you going to thank Walmart? I'm going to thank Walmart. <laughs> I'm going to thank my dad. <laughs> right. And Taylor, you got to thank Taylor Swift yes. as well. Yes. Is, is she still one of your idols now? Um, yeah, actually. Mm-hmm. I love the way, um, how, how smart she is as far as her business 
Sure, sure. Yeah, she just pulled out of Spotify. I don't, yeah. I don't blame her for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of artists are, are following suit. I know Garth Brooks has been talking a lot about that lately, about how if more artists would band together mm-hmm. um, and protect the music, make the music number one, then uh, I think it would be easier to make money on iTunes and Spotify's and places like that. So I think that's a good thing. Now, speaking of that, if somebody wants to download one of your songs mm-hmm. or if they want to, to buy one of, your, one of your CDs, how do they do that? Mm-hmm. and you can buy it as well just for digital download on iTunes. Sweet. Now, I've, I've actually got a copy, so I feel special. I feel, And it's autographed, too. Now, sweet. Now, if if somebody wants to get an autographed copy, do you do that before okay. you send them out? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So I'm not that special. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're... <laughs> no. <laughs> right, Twitter buddies for life. So, now, what are you going to sing for me today? I'm going to sing for you um, a song that uh, my mom and I just made. Mm-hmm. Put it on YouTube. Now I'm you've got some videos it. out. Yeah. How many videos do you have out? This is the second one. Okay. Yeah. This is the second one, and they're relatively big productions for an indie artist. Yeah, I mean, the first video was especially large because I had a friend of mine fly in from LA, and he mm-hmm. was the director, and he had a friend that was the producer. You're big time when you have friends that fly in from LA. Oh, yeah. To do yeah. videos, yeah. You know, he was, he, his parents were my neighbors, which was so random. Right. Yeah. That's I cool. Then, yeah. But, um, yeah, so, and we had, like, real casting, and everything was super official. And then the next time I was like, I just really want to do it again. My mom's like, well, now we're in Nashville, and it's different, and, you know. But um, she was like, okay, I'll help you. My mom has been, like, my team player ever since mm-hmm. I started, always on my side. So I, I wrote the whole storyboard, and I wrote the script, and what I wanted everything to be. Wow, so you were, like, hands-on. You really got into it. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's cool. That's yeah, cool. She just filmed it pretty much. Yeah, now... <laughs> so that's that's good. Now, uh, so would you say your mom's probably your biggest fan? I would say yes, biggest fan, biggest supporter, team player. Mm-hmm. Um, I've kind of bossed her around a little bit, so sometimes yeah. I feel bad for her. But yeah, yes. is that is she, is she bossy, mom? A little bit. Oh. I've been fired a lot, <laughs> <laughs> but you got to rehire her. She's family. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is what is the song again? Okay, now what's did you write it yourself? I did. Or what's it about? Um, originally I wrote it for a movie, but it's basically about um, either you and your best friend or uh, boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever um, just coming together as a team and just saying let's grab a hold of life and let's do something cool. That sounds great. So it's 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 inspirational. I hope so. Now, would yeah. you say most of your music's inspirational, or I do you have a dark what? side? <laughs> I have a dark. My darkest side is the game, definitely. Yeah. Uh-huh. And about things that kids my age go through in, in being in high school. And so do you have a, a whole list of breakup songs as well? There are, there's a good list of breakup songs. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, now are any of them personal? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to embarrass you a little bit. Yes. So, so do the guys hear them? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> have you gotten reactions from the guys that hear them? Most of the time they don't know, and I yeah. try not to tell them. Right. Um, it ended up that one guy's sister found out. And oh. I'm pretty sure she told him, but right. I don't really know. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to hear you sing. I got a chance to hear you earlier. Mm-hmm. I was so impressed. Thank you. I was like, yes, she's up there. So I was, I was excited. I was fanboying. Oh. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Fanboy. Twitter buddies for life. Yes. Right. Okay. okay. Here we go. <laughs>
know, I can't wait to hear the reaction from from the listeners uh, when we post this later. They're gonna they're gonna absolutely love you to death. Thank you. Absolutely love you to death. I hope so. Now, <laughs> if if somebody wants to catch you live, do you have a schedule posted anywhere, uh, like on your uh, website yes. or? It will be on my website and it will be on my Facebook page. And okay. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, I tweet all the time. And so everywhere now. Do you have anything coming up soon, like in Nashville? Any performances? On December twenty eighth, I'm playing the Bluebird. It's a Sunday. Oh, yes. just the Bluebird. It's no big deal. Yeah, so yeah. that's cool. That'll be the sec- oh, Are you excited? Third time. third time I played. The, the third, third time. time, so you're like an old pro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It still makes you nervous. Does it make you nervous? A little, yeah. What's What's harder for you, like a really big crowd of people, or like stuff like this, where it's just like one on one and you're playing? One on like this, I love doing. Like okay. Radios and stuff like this. Mm-hmm. Um, Small rooms of like 50 or le- like the room out here mm-hmm. it actually makes me more nervous. Does it really? And, yeah, and I used to, when I was still living in Pennsylvania, I used to open for Phil Vassar when he would come. No way. Yeah. I love Phil Vassar. Yeah. And he was wonderful. And um, his crowds would be like either anywhere from one to 2,000 people. And that, um, it doesn't make me as nervous then. But I Probably because I can't see people's faces mm-hmm. because of the lights. Sure. Um, and at that point, when there's that many people all making noise at one time, it just makes you so hyper that you mm-hmm. just kind of forget about what you're actually doing. Sure. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite. So, what would you say your passion is? I would say my passion is performing music that makes people feel something, or makes you, or gives them something to relate mm-hmm. to. Now, I figured that. Yeah. I knew the answer to that. Now, yeah. with that being said, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? I just talked about this with my mom the other day, and it's kind of really. I'm a really random person, mm-hmm. but yeah, if I could start over and like not, if I w- didn't want to do this, I would either work something for the government, be like a CIA or FBI. Like agent. undercover? Would you be packing? Yeah. 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 Totally. yeah. Or I would be an ice skater. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that that goes together. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a random person. Sure. Yeah. Sure. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but I mean, you're doing what you love right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so what happens when you when you go up to a record producer? And this is hypothetical. You look at the record producer and say, um, you know, I really, really would love to have this record deal. He looks at you and says, no, you're not going to get it. You're not good enough. What are you going to tell him? Um, I'm not going to tell him anything. First okay. of all, I'm going to say thank you. Yeah. 